Welcome to episode 29 of Vampire Survivors Like Game in Unity. Winning. Create an event for win stage. On the stage 1 data. After 10 seconds, let's print out you won the stage. Launch and test it. Hey, I bet this is probably the fastest time in my entire career I called you to test something out in the episode. We have an error which we will fix after we see our victory message. Good, the victory message is here. The error is happening because we are trying to spoon something while our chest doesn't have anything in the airdrop item prefab. So our chests are trying to drop nothing. Let's put a diamond as a drop. And add the exit gate with a warning. So if we get a null item, we throw a warning. And if our list of items to drop is empty, we throw a warning. Good. Now when we win the stage, we want to inform the player that he won and move to the main menu. This will be done similar to how we bring a game over message on the screen. In the stage event manager, create and call a new method called winStage. On this scene, create a panel for your win message by duplicating game over panel. Now select Game Manager and create another new component called Player Win Manager. Inside create a public method Win. Serialized field for Win message panel. which we will show to the player if he won the game. Reference the panel in the player win manager. Now back to the events. The issue is uh, our component is on the essential scene. Meanwhile, event manager is on the stage scene. So we cannot just simply reference player win manager by using serialized field. So instead, we will have to use find object of type. It's not perfect solution, but for now it will work. Find object of type will search for the first instance of the specified type on all active scenes.
let's test this. Make sure your essential scene is an active scene. It must be highlighted in comparison to the uh, gameplay stage one. Good. Let's pause our game when we win the stage, because our player win manager is on the same game manager as our pause manager, we can simply call get component to catch the pause manager and call pause manager. Good. Now you have a specific event to stop the game and win the stage when you want. The moment you think your stage is over and you should stop the game and proceed to the next stage, you just call win stage event. Good. This episode is brought to you by generous support of people on Patreon and members on YouTube. If you want to join them, link to my Patreon in the description and join button available right now on YouTube. If you join at $10 or more, you will get access to project files on Patreon. Now we want to have some kind of persistent mark that we have completed the stage. Or simply put, we want to have some kind of, of container for player achievements in the game. For now it will be just a completion of the stage. To store player progression we have scriptable object called data container. Inside the data container declare a new bool list called stage completion. Pass a stage number as a parameter and set the bool under the past number to be true to represent the completion of the stage. In the player win manager call completion of the stage for stage number 0. Go back to editor and make sure to add one member to the list of complete stages on player con data container. Notice how first element is false, signifying that we haven't completed the first stage yet. Set the reference and launch the game. After you win this stage, you should see that bull uh, into the true, marking stage completion. Delete level complete script from the world, we don't need it anymore. Sort the project. This is it for this episode. Special thank you to 
David Fahey and the Sold Hajdu. With best regards, see you in the next episode.